these numbers spark new restrictions in five counties today, including here at Multnomah, Jackson County, Marion County, Umatilla, and Malheur counties. And these rollbacks from Governor Brown will affect businesses and long-term care facilities. Lisa Balick joins us live from Southwest Portland with more details about what this means as we move forward. Lisa, we move forward and we take a step back. Yeah, there's no question about it. And uh, restaurant owners who have uh, tents set up outside like this are sure hoping that in the next couple of weeks that the weather will be good and perhaps warmer because they're going to need to put people out there. That's for sure with what's happening. Now, the good news is that it's just supposed to be for two weeks and then that rollback would end the day before Thanksgiving. The bad news, though, next week, Clackamas and Washington counties may be added as well. These measures are put in place, place to save lives and protect the health of Oregonians. The governor putting a pause on social activities in five counties, stopping indoor visits to people in long-term care facilities, and rolling back bar and restaurant restrictions, now capping group sizes at six to a table, and only allowing restaurants to have 50 people inside max, including the staff, encouraging more takeout and outdoor dining if possible. The order also includes limiting all indoor activities to 50 people in places like gyms, pools, museums, and encouraging businesses to have more people work from home. The new measures apply for two weeks starting Wednesday in Multnomah, Marion, Jackson, Malheur, and Umatilla counties, those with the highest COVID rates relative to their population. But Clackamas and Washington counties may be added next week. This is a wake-up call. I do not want to have to take further actions to stop the spread of COVID-19 because I know it will have a devastating impact on our businesses, both large and small. But I absolutely will, if necessary, to protect the health and safety of Oregonians. Family and friends gatherings are believed to be the main way the virus is spreading, tough to police. But here's a warning of what's happening with a virus that has killed more than 700 Oregonians. This is really people who have no symptoms. Either they haven't developed them yet or never developed them. They get together with the people they love, the people they trust, and they think, surely I'm not going to get an infection from my best friend, from my aunt, from my sister. Um, but unfortunately, that's what we're seeing. Now, keep in mind, we have Thanksgiving coming up. The timing of this is no coincidence. They're really trying to urge people not to get together with extended family, people who live maybe next door or a few streets away. But again, they're not in your household. They're really trying to make that point. We'll see what happens next week if Clackamas and Washington counties are added in as well. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News. Lisa, thank you. And our